you know, we can't just be a nation of laws and not a nation of common sense. Okay? Uh, and that's what I'm starting to wrestle with now is just how crazy are these uh, conservative people? How, how crazy they are. You know, I grew up in the era where when abortions were illegal. And I can remember a lot of girls that I knew personally. I won't say a lot. I will say um, at least two that I know of tried to give them self-inflict themselves with the uh, A word. And they contracted hepatitis and died. Usually the tool of choice was a, a clothes hanger or they would fall down the stairs. But one thing about a woman, if she's not going to have a baby, she's going to figure out a way to get rid of it. Okay? Nobody is going to carry a baby for nine months. I won't say nobody. Very few is going to carry a baby for nine months that they really don't want to have. They don't want to take their body through the change. The baby could be deformed. The baby could have all types of problems, and you can be aware of that. It don't even have to be all those circumstances. Like I said, I grew up in the era where they found women in the alleys with hangers stuck inside of them. You should, y'all, anybody ever seen the book, the woman's book? If you can get a copy of that, you should. Because I, I think sometimes when you don't remember the past, like I've said a millions of times before, if you don't remember where we've been, they hope we all die off. So y'all be stupid. You'll continue to be dumb and know that when you're not original in your thought process, all you can do is regurgitate the same stuff over and over and over and over again. When you are original, you can come up with different things. You can be more creative. Okay? That's why there has to be more diversity. And we can no longer continue to let these white males uh, dominate and just run the country because really it's going to hell <coughs> with them at the at the helm. White women see it. I'm not just saying that's because I'm a prejudiced person. What I'm saying is white males need to take a rest and we need to diversify. And if we can't, we're going to have to figure it out because at this point, they're the enemy to humanity let alone women. And, but my suggestion would be for every male that a uh, governor, congressman that, that is upholding and would love this law, I think that we need to come behind it and have it so where all the men have to have vasectomies. Because you can't sit there and think you can run ramshod over a woman's body, but she's so helpless that she can't do anything to defend herself. Women that are in power, that are in place, they need to start pushing for some stuff like that. And we need to vote on it. We need to show up and vote on it, just like the Supreme Court did us when it came to abolishing abortion. Now, I know a lot of y'all got different opinions about it. And I, I, you know, I don't agree with it. I, some of y'all, I do. But when you start going, there should never, ever, ever be a circumstance where a woman uh, should have an abortion. I tell you where to get the hell off that. Because I've, I've had people in my family that had tubal ligations, had pregnancies in their tubes. And if y'all don't know what the hell that is, then you got no right to make a comment of the pain that that is uh, because the baby is supposed to grow up in the womb. You, If you have a pregnancy in your tube, it could possibly kill you. Okay? And now that we have doctors who are 
God has blessed to have the intelligence to know how to save our lives when we are in a trauma situation. Now you got politics playing a role saying that it shouldn't happen. And in my opinion, that's where I get off the bus at. So now we got a woman from Louisiana that said, I had to carry my baby to bury my baby. So the woman blasts the state's anti-aid uh, law under after doctors refused to terminate her pregnancy, even though the fetus had no skull and it won't survive. Now just think about how mad that is. This is a case where the pregnancy should be terminated. It's a no-brainer. Or oh, y'all glad let the baby come to birth. You well, fifty years ago, a hundred years ago, she would have had to have a baby. Don't you know that technology has made it so that women don't have to die through childbirth like they did back in the day? What the hell is going on? Death travel around your bed a thousand times when you drop a baby off for somebody. That's how much of a process that is. It ain't just like, oh, that ain't nothing. And what it is, is people should take that more serious. So the fact of the matter that she's, her body is bringing forth a baby that is not fully developed in the skull, with the skull, and has no chance to survive, but she cannot terminate it, is absolutely repulsive. Nancy Davis, who was denied an abortion in Louisiana despite her defeatist developing a rare condition that means the child will have no skull, spoke to the media about the laws affecting her case. Davis, who is 15 weeks pregnant, says she will travel out of state next week for a medically necessary abortion because her baby will be born with a crania, a, a fetal abnormality that is fatal. The law forbidding Davis bans all abortions except if there is a substantial risk of death or impairment to the woman if she continues a pregnancy and in the case of medically futile pregnancies. Davis was told that if she brought the pregnancy to full term and gave babe, birth, excuse me, the baby would likely survive for a very short time, anywhere from several minutes to maybe a week. Okay. So her right to choose is to me should be important. To let somebody live off of her for nine months that is gonna not gonna survive, we have the technology to not make her go through emotional torture like that. But these men that are out here controlling the bodies of women are saying they don't care. So the only thing we can do is counteract that with it. We got to, it, it has to be counteracted with y'all need to, every man has to have a vasectomy and that has to be a law. In the states that are real adamant, serious, no middle ground, then every male in that state should have a vasectomy including the senators and the people that voted for this bill. And there's no way around it. There's no way around it. Now, that's just my opinion. So she has to travel out of state. I want to know what y'all think about that, because I know a lot of y'all think that there should not be any abortion under any circumstance. And this, well, you're entitled to your opinion. But, however, I disagree. Now, with that being said, what y'all think about her? What do y'all think about her? and her case? I think Prince, baby, had a disease like this. Well, I don't know. His eye sockets and stuff was born outside the body. I don't know. It, I don't know if that's exactly what they call that. But, allegedly, I won't speculate. Anyway. That being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe, share the channel, share the video. I'll see you in the next one.